The other guy that has really uh, stepped up in the absence of um, Mobley and Garland has been Jared Allen. I, it, last night, mm -hmm. 15th straight, double-double, uh, 20 points, 17 rebounds, three assists, uh, a steal, a block. Um, and, and again, Chris, that's a guy that it, at the beginning of the year was struggling, and it's really, it's really good to see him get back on track. He's playing like an all-star as well. Dave, to me, he is not the best player on this roster. He might not be the most important player on this roster. You could have an argument for a few different guys. But he is the most indispensable player on this roster. Nobody can do the things that Jared Allen does on a nightly basis to the level that Jared does them at. He sets 100 screens a game, maybe even more. He anchors the paint defensively. He switches onto guards defensively on the perimeter. He can knock down mid-range shots suddenly. He creates a lot of vertical spacing because he dives to the basket. He rolls toward the rim. He's a legitimate lob threat. Um, he is finishing possessions on the defensive end by just inhaling rebounds in a way that I think a lot of fans wanted to see from him in that first round playoff series against the Knicks. So he's gotten bigger, he's gotten stronger, he's made more of a commitment and more of an effort on the defensive glass to limit the second chance opportunities for the other team. If the Cavs do not have Jared Allen, they cannot function this way on the offensive end of the floor. If the Cavs do not have Jared Allen, they can't be this kind of suffocating defense. He is so important to every single possession on a nightly basis at both ends of the floor. And without him, they are a team that goes from this that we're seeing, a legitimate Eastern Conference contender, to a team that is probably fighting just to avoid the lottery. Like, that is how important he is to their success. And I, I think it's great that he's starting to get some national recognition and national appreciation because the things that he has to do for this team to be successful aren't always pretty. Sometimes they're dirty, and somebody has to do them at a high level for them to be this kind of team. And he does them for them, every single possession. And I think it's great that he gets recognition, and I think he has a legitimate case to be an Eastern Conference All-Star this year.